Hey guys, it's Mark again here from Pixel Hobo Photography. Uh, this is my new desktop of a, of a place I visited this past weekend. Um, but the point of this tutorial is, let's just open uh, Photoshop. Um, recently I wanted to create this, um, this little uh, design for a friend of mine. And so what I want to do is go through uh, the steps that I went through in order to um, take this initial shot. Uh, the base photograph which is my buddy on his skateboard doing some tricks um, and I captured this using the Myox trigger um, in the laser mode uh, in effect creating a camera trap uh, that would trigger the camera every time my friend here uh, went through the laser beam. Um, now to clarify what I'm talking about let's go through this step by step Okay, well to continue with our sequence of uh, tutorials for the MyOps trigger, today I'm going to show you how to use this um, trigger in conjunction with a laser beam. Yay! Sensors and laser beams, always a favourite. So, to start off with, you'll see when we fire up the MyOps trigger, you'll see normally immediately it goes into lightning mode. Okay, now in order to get to laser, we simply scroll through to sound time-lapse and laser so this is actually quite a, a simple setup uh, because basically all we're going to be doing is creating a gate between two points with one point being a laser pointer which I'll show you in a minute and the second point being the myops trigger okay now over here we have our laser pointer and it's just a quick a, a cheap off-the-shelf uh, laser pointer and just press that button there you can see my little laser beam okay and what we're going to try and do is we're going to match up the laser so that it points into that receptor like so okay now everything that breaks through this uh, laser beam will trigger the myops to take a photograph Once the system is set onto the camera in the hot shoe, uh, we turn it on and we're going to go immediately, it's going to come into the lightning mode. Okay, to get to laser mode, we on this central circular dial, the right hand button, we just press that, goes to the next mode, which is sound and then time lapse and then laser. Okay, to enter there on the central uh, right hand button, you enter into there and there you've got your parameters for laser mode okay um, you've got at the top threshold and then delay and then frame or number of frames okay um, so if we're going to go threshold this basically means the fragility not not fragility but the sensitivity of, uh, of the laser okay uh, in relation to um, for example I, I've got it set to 100 because I want to ensure that something go well, as soon as something goes through that um, that laser it has to be something obviously of mass and seeing as I'm shooting humans or photographing humans um, uh, I can guarantee I'm gonna you know th there is no margin for error if for example I'm in an area where I'm shooting an animal or like a lair a den or a hide or something there may be other elements in the environment that are going to potentially go through the laser which I don't want to photograph which don't have as much mass so that could be a mosquito a fly dragonfly something like that that may hang around the area of the species that I'm trying to film or photograph um, and so I would adjust my sensitivity uh, accordingly uh, for this like I said I'm, I'm shooting people so we're going to stick with the threshold of 100 delay is the amount of delay between the time that the um, laser beam is broken and the time that the camera takes a photograph and that can be set I think to a maximum of 999 milliseconds or basically one second okay we do yeah and that's just given me straight to 999 
okay I can't go any higher than that but that's basically one second so within the param within when I'm setting my shot up um, I'll evaluate and I'll see do I need a delay and if I do can I get it within a, the one second you know um, and then I can I've got the luxury of being able to set that how I want it to up to one second uh, I'm going to have it at zero because I want that instant photo uh, as soon as someone breaks through the, the the laser barrier and then finally on the frame is simply how many frames you want to take when when that um, laser barrier is broken okay and then you can scroll up scroll down to whatever you want I mean I'm just going to take one shot I've got one one skateboarder going through once all I've got is one shot uh, I'm, I've got quite a tight lens on so I don't have much room to get two shots okay so when you are set to go you simply press the center button on the right and then it confirms laser mode is running okay so all that remains now if I'm going to go and set up the laser beam but once that laser beam is set up and it's pointing into the front of the unit um, all that's required then is for something to break the the laser beam and as soon as that happens we'll get a shot uh, like I said I'm going to go and shoot some um, skateboarders so come on out let's hit the the skate park of Yokohama in here in Japan and see what we can get So here we are, we're at the uh, Yokohama, one of the, one of the skateboard parks in Yokohama, Japan. Uh, Yuji's been uh, warming up, putting himself through his paces, but here is the gate. You can see on, uh, as, as the skateboarders go through here, they're going to do their little trick. Uh, you've got the camera there set up. In the distance you can see the uh, laser beam, the red pointer. Um, that is pointing towards the myops into the uh, infrared receiver. And every time that invisible gate is broken, it takes your photograph. So there's one trick and you can see on the LCD the photo is getting registered, there we go, and one last example, slow motion, playing around with the GoPro, but as he breaks the beam, there you go, there is your resulting image.